Yo, what is going on guys, Megaverse here. In today's video, we are playing this Hog Raider deck. Um, with Evo Tesla, this deck is even better. Um, I think it used to run Evo Knight, but having Mighty Miner for just like insane amount of DPS um, is really nice to have. And this is gonna sound crazy to say, but this already looks like RG. It's the only thing I know that would run Phoenix. Obviously, we're really low, but um, unfortunately, we don't have another air card, so I have to play Tesla now without seeing the win condition. But we can cycle back pretty quick, um, just because Phoenix. Um, I say it looks like RG because uh, well. Fisherman makes me think so as well, but Firecracker isn't very common. I could have Earthquake logged that, and I probably should have. But I'll log here. We should KO the Firecracker, yeah, and keep ours alive. It was RG. This is actually a pretty normal RG deck, which is pretty surprising for how low we are right now. But I'm happy to see it. Um, the bad part about this RG deck when I'm running it is it doesn't really have any DPS. Um... The one I run runs Wizard and not Phoenix, so it's a little different. But same idea. We're actually pretty lucky we got down that Mighty Miner in time. I mean, lucky that that was a bad fireball. And lucky that it didn't target the Phoenix egg. Um. So honestly, I've been recording videos all day for my other channel. Um, so I'm kind of tired right now, honestly, of <laughs> recording, so we'll probably only do, um, four matches today, which was, it used to be standard with my channel, I did four, because that put us around, um, over ten minutes, but under, like, a really long video, but lately I've been, well, like, last, lately my videos have been very long, so it might be surprising to any like new viewers how short this video is going to be, but it's it's actually pretty normal for me. He keeps fireballing our firecrackers, which is all right. Um, I would be doing the same thing, but maybe we can bait it out and go in a little harder. Yeah, we're just gonna ice spirit. Um, it actually goes before the e spirit, which is nice. Um, Evo firecracker, we're gonna. Hog in front. Hopefully you play something on it, like a royal ghost. I mean, just get a fisherman. But yeah, fisherman's really hard to time right before it gets a hit. I mean, you have to have pretty good reactions and, you know, not misplace it. I struggle with that interaction a lot, too. But unfortunately, I think RG is just not really that good in any version of it. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty popular, so some people are obviously having success with it. Just, I can't use it either, so... Um, anyways, GG's to that guy, and I will see you guys in the next match. So, yeah, we are low. I thought about, like, pushing a little bit off camera. That, way, well, that was a bad hog right here. Fortunate timing. Um, like, off camera, that way it wouldn't be League 2, League 3 after this. You know, so when we have, like really low leagues all the time, but I'm gonna take the bomb damage here. Uh, we'll see what he plays behind it. I would think we're gonna be fine here. Gonna log this. It's actually really close to getting the mini P.E.K.K.A. hit, which would have been bad. I'm not sure the Ice Spirit did anything, but it, you know, made me feel better. But yeah, I don't think this season I'll do... I mean, maybe if I'm in just like a mood to play, I will. Or maybe I'll like do like a live stream and just like grind up to a decent point to start for next season. Because obviously I don't really plan on playing as many games as it'll take to get to a high league this, this season. Um, honestly, I've been pretty lazy with it. But next season for sure I will... Um, grind it out a little more. It's just, like, so painful to do without the steps. Like, I don't want to play that many games. But, I mean, that's part of dropping the game for a while. I'm gonna pre-EQ. Um, not sure what that fireball was. I'm not sure if he thought he was up that much elixir or what. Um, I kind of want to read the princess, but 
Oh, he actually doesn't even princess. So we're gonna Skelly's Mighty Miner that also stops a princess, which is nice. Um, well, it stops a princess at the bridge, I should say. We might be able to just pop our ability and kill it, but I'd rather get the guaranteed firecracker. Oh, if that actually does shoot on tower, so we're probably getting close to spell cycle range. I don't know what an earthquake does. I'm gonna Tesla up high for the uh, princess, also for the magic archer. Um, what's nice about that having a little bit of health is he can't princess for a while. I'm gonna hog rider EQ again. Hopefully catch the inferno tower. I'm just gonna log this. Uh, that should get a hit. Yeah, which is nice. Just get a Tesla for the princess. <laughs> um, it wasn't a prediction. Like, I would love to take credit for that being a prediction. I was just gonna play it there anyways, just to stop Princess at the bridge. But he's gonna set up a huge push here. I'm just gonna hog opposite, see if he wastes any elixir on that side. Because if he does, the game's definitely over. Yeah, he shouldn't even Valk there. Um, defending that side at all pretty much makes the game over. I don't think there's any way to win anyway. It's just a bad deck he's running. Um, unfortunately, doesn't really have a great win condition. Um, Goblin Barrel can't really be your own win condition. I mean, he had Magic Archer Princess, but like, those are both spellable. Like, if I had Log Fireball, it wouldn't even have been... Like, it would have been even worse for him. So, anyways, GG's to that guy, and I will see you guys in the next match. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what deck I'm going to use next, so if anybody has any suggestions or anything, just let me know. I'm just going to hog the bridge. I'm going to Ice Spear behind, catch something. Uh, we catch a Tesla, I guess. Uh, his log came down a little late, but I don't think it's going to matter. It just means we could finish off the Tesla. Which we might have been doing anyways. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to Firecracker here. I kind of want to just cycle my Evos early, because... Uh, Tesla, I mean a Tesla, <laughs> um, Pekka is not a great card to see. So we can't really do much into it. He can zap reset my Mighty Miner as well. Now or e -Wiz reset it. So it's not your typical Pekka bridge spam, but I think we might make it through. That does lock on to the Hog Raider, which is actually pretty huge. Might get two shots. I'll take that for sure. That was a pretty good defense for all the spam we had to deal with. Um, yeah, Pekka is going to be awkward. Pekka with a building? I mean, this should be a guaranteed loss. But I'll still fight for it. We're off to a decent start. He's probably going to Pekka this. We can maybe Firecracker. Get some chip. Uh, shouldn't cross the bridge anymore, so we should be fine. He's got to spell it. Uh, I'm expecting him to, like, yeah, zap it. Zap or poison it. Um, this Evo Tesla is actually going to do a decent job at killing the P.E.K.K.A. I'm just going to Ice Spirit. I mean, he does Fireball that, which... Unfortunately, we don't have enough Elixir to punish, I don't think. But we can still go for it at 7, that way we can Earthquake. He chooses not to Tesla, which is... Uh, I guess he gave up. I thought he was gonna just save up for P.E.K.K.A., but... Not the case. There's no way he was down that much Elixir. I guess he might be lagging. That was weird. I mean, I'd say he was, given that he placed those two cards pretty instantly. Just gonna Skelly's Ice Spear here. Try to avoid that hit, which we actually do. I'm um, gonna Hog, EQ, potential Tesla. He plays it out of EQ range, which is pretty smart. Still might get a hit. So we just had to defend this P.E.K.K.A. here and we win. That's why I'm kind of spamming, because I don't want him to be able to support it very much. Uh, he plays an elixir over there, so it's over again. You, I mean, people just uh, are defending too hard <laughs> on the other side, like when you need a tower. Um, I mean, you could split line pressure, but like you can't like defend like that. You'd have to play it at the bridge. Anywho, um, yeah, GG's to that guy, and I will see you guys in hopefully the final match. The banner doesn't tell us much. Um, it's gonna be Cannoneer. 
Which is interesting. It's actually not bad against my deck. It's actually really good against my deck. Fireball. Like, if I knew common decks that ran Cannoneer, I would have a better answer for you. I'm gonna EQ that just so we don't have to defend it. Uh, I'm not sure how necessary it was. I didn't know that kills the whole Goblin Gang, though. I thought this, the Stab Goblin survived. I'm just gonna Tesla for that. So it's some sort of log bait deck. I'm gonna Ice Spirit Skellies and maybe get some hits. I'm surprised he arrows that. That seems like a bit of an I recommend. I'm gonna EQ again. Uh, he played that right out of my EQ range, so I'll give him the well played. Still get a hit off, and we don't have to defend in return, which is nice. As for running Cannoneer, I would have to defend. Um, Mega Knight's a great card to see, because Mighty Miner just walls it without Zap or New Wiz. I'm surprised to see I'm not supporting it with anything. Yet, at least. There's the Firecracker. We can play our own Firecracker to kill this, which is nice. Um, we're probably going to have to log that Skelly Barrel. Not a big deal. Especially since... My Tesla wasn't pulling it. Makes it easier to say I need to log it. Um, we do have our Evo Tesla ready. So that'll be nice. I'm going to Skelly's Hog Rider here. See if he... Okay, we're going to EQ just to get the Skellies off of us. Also slow down the Valk a little bit. And I will take that damage. This is going to be hard to defend, though. I'm going to Firecracker the bridge. Or not the bridge, but like right on the Valk. That way we don't have to worry about it too much. I'm really surprised to see I'm not supported at all. Let's get a Skellies in front. That way the Cannoneer doesn't do much. I kind of expected that, but that's not a big deal. We can just Mighty Miner Tesla up high. Um, probably place another firecracker. I thought the Tesla ability would go off. There it is. I was gonna say, I would have just logged. Um, we should be able to defend this with Ice Spirit Skellies. Um, well, not with the firecracker. I'm gonna pop ability here to kill the firecracker. Um, it's gonna be a little awkward to defend this, but we should be able to Skellies Ice Spirit kite it a little bit. Try to stay alive, get it to the other side at least. Um, we're gonna have to log that because our firecracker is refusing to shoot. So we took a lot of damage there, but we're still in the damage lead. Which is obviously nice. I'm gonna defend this other side a little bit because that goblin gang, I don't want it getting too, too much damage. Uh, I'm gonna set up a Tesla. Kinda tell him not to. Sky Bra Mega Knight in the back seems like a bad play there. Um, Firecracker is on tower. Only for one hit, but now we just gotta cycle back to another log. Because our Hog Rider got a hit, I believe, as well. So, actually, we cycle back to an Earthquake first. So, yeah, that was a, a pretty good game. I'm gonna BM a little bit. Mega Knight Firecracker, I just feel like it's necessary. Um, feel free to do this to me if you see me. Just BM me on that. I probably won't see it. I mute the emotes for the most part until the end of the game, but... Yeah, that's the deck there. You have a Firecracker, you have a Tesla, a bunch of Cycle cards, um... Hog Mighty Miner. Um, of course you could make some replacements. Feel free to ask about them. Let's go to the battle log here. You can see I went 4-0, not cutting games. Um, I feel like I have to prove that I'm not losing in these early leagues or else I'll be embarrassed. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.